So one of the things that's, that I find uh, really important about any movement of this sort is the ability to, uh, to kind of combine movements or to, to bring diversity together. As others have mentioned, this is a very diverse gathering and I'm, I'm glad for that, I'm proud for that whenever um, we can have diversity in a place like Ottawa because, you know, sometimes diversity is not Ottawa's best strength, you know, so I'm glad to be who I am here and I'm glad that all of you are who you are here as well. Um, so the reason I bring that up is because the next person that we're going to bring to the, to the front of the gathering uh, is an artist. He's a, a rapper and spoken word artist. I just like to acknowledge like how many different ways there are to speak, you know, how many different ways there are to express uh, opposition and resistance to things in the world that are not just, you know, so I appreciate that this sort of gathering uh, also recognizes the, the importance of art in uh, consciousness raising and in helping us to mobilize against the things that we need to mobilize against. So without further ado, I'd like to welcome an artist who's come to us from Montreal. His name is Jay Manifest and he'll be doing some spoken word. Show him some love. I want to thank um, Brandon for the lovely intro, Ashley for inviting me, everyone who's here today, and of course all the people who took place in the march. Very inspiring. Um, I have two pieces to perform, and um, they both may have a little bit of a negative side to it, but there's a positive message at the end, which I find is very important. The first piece is called Gaslands, and it was inspired by the uh, community of uh, Ilse Nuptuk, uh, New Brunswick. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Yeah, well, that's it. It was very. I was moved uh, to tears, literally watching the YouTube videos and what they went through. So I wrote the song. It's called Gaslands. It's crazy how the ones who create the calamities stick the cops on those trying to save humanity when all they want is to take care of their families that get beat and sent to jail. Man, it's insanity. From Texas all the way to New Brunswick, tar sands and fracking gonna make us sick. Millions in profits don't help us one bit. The government don't care who you think really runs shit. The oil companies and natural gas too. But chapter 11, they're the ones that sue. NAFTA? What a disaster. We have to organize now before they try to pass the TPP, Trans-Pacific Partnership. A plan more evil than Stephen Harper is. 40% of the global economy They need to give the people a full lobotomy Our tax money being used on these gas lands I feel like we're being screwed by the tax man Corporations shoot our land like a trash can They shake hands, make plans for a backstab They do all of this in the name of free trade When there is nothing free about the way they behave It's just double speak trying to make us be slaves or rape while they cut social programs as irrational. Instead of investing in small businesses, we fund giant companies. What is this shit? We must invest in the earth, live and die for the land. Instead of being ruled by supply and demand, it's about time that we switch our priorities. Those in control, the rich minorities. We have the power in the palm of our hands as we help build ticking time bombs on our land money being used on these gas lands. We're straight up being screwed by the tax man. Corporations treat our land like a trash can. They shake hands, make plans for a backstab. Pipelines are bursting left and right while the oil execs collect checks we write and they all get away like a theft in the night. This ain't right. Let's unite to protect our life. Our towns and cities are in distress. To save them, we need more than to just protect Tesla, mad respect. It's time to build, put our money where our mouth is. We gotta build solar panels, put them up on our houses. Invest in clean air, water, and land. If we really wanna give our sons and daughters a hand, let's 
do this for the water, trees, and the animals, but the justice of those who's accountable. Thank you. It's pretty amazing doing this right in front of the parliament building right now. I love it. I don't know if you're there, if you can hear me, but... All right, yeah. <laughs> So I got one more now. This one, again, it sounds like it's very negative, but it has a positive message at the end, and it's called Stop Harper. It's actually written in the future tense. It's what Canada would be like if we don't stop Harper. It's basically a nightmare situation. Imagine super prisons filled to capacity, they're even privatized. Imagine the audacity, Harper government creating catastrophes and now the thought police always want to hassle me. Imagine super prisons filled to capacity, they're even privatized. Imagine the audacity, Harper government creating catastrophes and now the thought police always want to hassle me. They treat every citizen like potential criminals, turning us on each other, playing with our subliminals. Propaganda tactics, the TVs are digital. Talking 1984, the situation's critical. Started with the crime bill, then the super prisons. They filled up all the cells, now they profit from the system. Mandatory jail time, turning kids to victims. We'd all be better off if the Antichrist had risen. And all of the pollution from the tar sands can't believe this mess was made with our hands. Good people needed money getting work where they can, didn't see the real value was protecting our land. Then came the great disaster from the pipeline. People wanted to stop it, it just wasn't the right time. What they did was criminal who was there to fight crime, too busy sleeping at a sight, at a mind. Imagine super prisons filled to capacity, they're even privatized. Imagine the audacity, Harper government creating catastrophes, and now the thought police always want to hassle me. With all of this destruction, where was the opposition? The other parties said that they were not in a position to do anything but let it come to fruition. Maybe fighting for the people really wasn't their mission. You see, the real problems are not in politics, it's the people's apathy. The way that they live, repeating the mantra, we can't make a difference, but if we all came together, we'd win in an instant. Harper is evil. I don't use that word lightly. For all that we know, the antichrist he might be. He don't speak for the majority, not even slightly. He sat back laughing, said, try to indict me. He stole the election, no one did anything. If people only knew what his regime might bring, we gave him his power, our silence was consent. If people overstood what contracts represent, if we knew what was coming, we'd never let it happen. Now remember the day where we sat back, relaxing at the park with a beer without a care or fear, without the thought police always lurking near. If someone could hear and pass on the message, stop Harper now or we'll all get arrested. A lot of brave people came together and protested, but without unity, the army's uncontested. If I could travel back in time with these words somehow, we could change the path we're on, but we have to act now through direct democracy. Communal council, we could take the power back, but you can't stand still through direct democracy. Communal council, we could take the power back, but you can't stand still. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much, guys.